Hi everyone, uh, Stephen Gary here from WorldStart.com. We have a brand new video tip for you today. Yesterday we asked for all your questions and you sent them in. We have hundreds of them, so we had to pick one and we've decided to take the one from Deb from New York. Deb is asking about multiple browsers. She writes, I was wondering if I was able to have two browsers on my computer. Right now I'm using Internet Explorer, but I've heard a lot of good things about Firefox and I wanted to try it out. If so, is there a way to do this? How do I set this up? To answer the first part of that is absolutely, you can have more than one browser. It's really great to have more than one. In fact, you can have five of them if you like. This isn't like antivirus software or firewalls You can have where they can sometimes interfere with each other. With browsers, you can have as many as you like. Not a problem at all. Now, if you're watching this, you're wondering, well, why do I need more than one web browser? There's a lot of reasons. The biggest one to me is rendering problems. A lot of times you'll go to a site and maybe it doesn't look right with Internet Explorer. Or you go to a site and maybe you're trying to post a picture. Or you're maybe trying to check out of a shopping cart and it's not working right. Maybe you're trying to watch a video and the video won't load and you've refreshed a few times and it's just not working. Any kind of interactivity problem that you run into with a site might just, just be some kind of incompatibility with your browser, with the plugins, the version. There's, a, there's dozens of things that can go wrong here. The easiest solution, the smartest solution, is just to have a second web browser on your computer like Firefox. So that to me is the number one reason, but there's a few others too. Another cool thing with Firefox is that it has a lot of add-ons that you can add to it. These extend the browser's functionality to do all sorts of things from reading XF info into photos to looking at uh, the, what the, the web browser in different sizes. There's thousands of these things. It's easy to find them just by going to the tools menu, add-ons in Firefox. It'll take you to a page, thousands of them, browse through them, take the top rated ones, take the ones that look like they're going to be applicable to what you're doing and you'll be all set. Um, another good thing about having more than one, you might over time find that, hey, maybe Internet Explorer wasn't as good as I thought it was. I really like Firefox better. That's one of the things that happened to me. Uh, some people find the opposite to be true. They're like, oh, no, I like Internet Explorer. I have Firefox on there, but Internet Explorer is for me. Hey, whichever one you like, but you don't know until you try it. And these things are all free, so, you know, why not? Give it a run. Um, finally, though, I think the biggest reason, or one of the biggest reasons at least, for having more than one web browser is what happens if your main web browser fails. What exactly are you going to do to get on the Internet to get a new web browser if your main one gets corrupted and you can't get on the Internet? Makes it kind of a problem. If you have two and one of them fails, you just go re-download the one that's giving you a hard time and you're back in business. So with all that in mind, I'm going to turn it over to Gary. He's going to show you how to download Firefox, get it installed, and get everything up and running. All you, Gary. Thanks, Steve. Um, we're going to go ahead and turn to the computer here so I can show you how this works. Um, first thing we'll want to do is go ahead and open up Internet Explorer. Um, Internet Explorer comes on every Windows computer, so it should be there for you. Uh, once you get it up and running, uh, what you want to do is go to www.firefox.com and hit enter. It'll bring you to the Firefox website. And um, pretty easy to see, you just click the big green button here for Firefox. It's going to prompt me and ask me what I want to do, if I'd like to run it or save it. I'm going to go ahead and choose run. If you don't want to run the program, um, you can save it and it'll let you save it to your computer so you can run it later. Um, for right now, this is easy enough for us. Um, let's go ahead and choose run here. It's going to go ahead and extract the files first. It doesn't take very long at all. Windows is going to ask me if I'm sure I want to do this. We'll hit yes. And let's go through the installation. And we'll choose the standard installation. I'm going to leave this box checked that says use Firefox as my default browser. Um, this means that anytime anybody wants to use the internet on the computer, Firefox will be what opens. If you would rather stick with Internet Explorer, just uncheck the box. Uh, let's go ahead and hit install. The installation's already finished. Um, and I'm going to leave this box checked here that says launch Firefox now. We'll hit finish. And here's Firefox. Um, pretty straightforward. It looks just like Internet Explorer, really. Uh, you have your address bar here. You have your search bar here. You can use it to search for anything you want. I'll go ahead and search World Start. We'll see all of our different results here. Um, let's put it right next to Firefox, or Internet Explorer, sorry. Uh, Internet Explorer here has pretty much the exact same thing. Um, also, Firefox will be putting itself up here at the top. It'll also be under the Start menu if you go to All Programs, and it's going to be listed under Mozilla Firefox. Um, I think that's pretty much all there is to it. And uh, so if you feel like giving it a try, it's, uh, it's pretty simple.
And there you go. That's pretty much it for our tip today. Uh, we hope you enjoyed it. I, we imagine you're getting ready to run over to Firefox's site and download that right now. We don't blame you. It's a great browser. We all use it here. We're all real happy with it. Um, just remember, if you like these videos and you don't happen to be on our Computer Tips newsletter, make sure you sign up and, uh, and get on that newsletter. You'll get these videos all the time. You'll always know when the newest ones are out. Make sure you check out our blog, our Facebook page. There's a lot of stuff over at World Start. And if you have a question, worldstart.com ask. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.